I lived, when I was growing up, I was an adopted kid, as you know, and I was living with a, a wealthy, right-wing, highly prejudiced, rich family. And I got to know all of their friends when I was growing up. When they adopted me, the, the, the patriarch of the family, old EF, all they had wanted a grandson, so they got me. They found me somewhere and got me. But I wasn't growing up to be what they, what they wanted. They wanted a, a young corrupt CEO or, or, a, or a lawyer or a doctor, something like that. They didn't want a writer. Good God. And so we were more or less at loggerheads the entire, my entire childhood. I wasn't going to be what they had bought, so to speak, which gave me great objectivity about them, which interested me a lot. It probably gave me a lot of objectivity through my life that I was able to be objective about these people who were supposed to be my parents, but of course never were. And I came to the conclusion one day, this turned into a play called A Delicate Balance, ultimately. These people aren't alive. They've decided to be dead through most of their lives. They're not participating in their lives. And what could be worse than getting to the end of your life and figuring out you haven't participated in it? Yeah. And that's, that's so true about so many people who want to be safe and if you don't live on the precipice, right close to the edge, you're wasting your time. Yeah. I hope that my plays are, are useful in that sense, that it tries to persuade people to live right on the edge, dangerously and fully. Because you only do it once. <laughs>